Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restoration. So, this project participating in the Beef Eaters Invitational, and Paul over at Pimp My Diecast, I believe, chose this one. And this is, let's read it so I don't chop it up and get it wrong. This is the Freeman Intercity Commuter, number 22, made in 1970. So, uh, this is a good candidate for a custom. Uh, however, uh, anytime I do not have two of a model in my collection, I will do a resto. So, since I only have one of these, and I had to order it because I didn't have one, uh, I'm going to do a full-on restoration. Now, the beauty of this is it's kind of like a metallic magenta. So I'm going to have to figure out how I can uh, mix a couple clear Tamiya paints to make magenta. So anyway, looking forward to this. Thanks to the Beef Eaters and opening the invitations to the community. Let's get it off the roundabout and see what I've got. Stick around. All right. So let's get the Freeman Intercity Commuter out. You know, if there's one thing about this casting... Uh, you gotta really look at the steering wheel to figure out which direction it's going. Uh, it's it's kind of a neat unit. I've already drilled out two rivets, two posts. Now, my channel is kind of unique, I guess. I don't show the complete process to the jobs, per se. Uh, I just like to film the stages in between. A, I like to keep my videos from f to f six to ten minutes and you know i just like to you know do stuff off camera just in case i run into any snags or anything so and you know when you think about this hobby there's no one true way to do it everybody does it differently and that's actually the beauty of it just to uh see all the different creators and everything so anyway enough of me yammering on so here we are the super fast one of the first super fast models, 1970. Let's take out the wheels. Obviously, this is just going to be a resto, nothing fancy. Hardest part is going to be doing the uh, the paint. Now, magenta, I think, is red and blue. So that's what I'm going to go for. Get these out. So the axles are in really good shape. So I'll just be painting the rims. There we go. Okay. And then, and oh, look at that. I don't have to drill out any rivets for the window unit. Uh, window units have not been my specialty ever in the two years I've been doing this. But I watch a lot of YouTubers do this, so I know you start off with some a certain grit and then just work your way to fine. So I'm going to try my hardest on this resto to bring justice to the windshield, window unit. So anyway, there we have it. No broken pillars to do. Pretty run of the mill. So, all right. So there we have it. Stick around and enjoy the journey all right uh i would be remiss if i didn't break out the the big book the encyclopedia of matchbox toys charlie mac so i've been using this book on my saturday restos so the freeman intercity commuter is right here so i think this is more of a red one but mine's magenta. So let's go to the back and see exactly what we're talking about. So here you go. 1970. So I think I've got the magenta body. And I think I have an unpainted base. Ivory interior, no labels. So I don't think it's white. I think it's ivory. So the white would be... Unpainted base, white interior, no labels. So I'm going to go with either number seven or number eight. 
it's really difficult to figure out which one. So here it is. You know, it doesn't give you any indication on the bottom what series it is or what color. So I'm going to go with my gut and go with either number seven or eight. Or actually be five or eight. So I don't know. The bottom line is going to be magenta. I do know that. So anyway, all right. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. Stick around. All right. Here's the Freeman commuter. All shined up. Now I'm going to clean it up. All right. Stick around. All right. Here's the Freeman city commuter. Intercity commuter. So we got a coat of paint on it. And now I'm going to see if I can make the concoction to make this a metallic magenta. All right. See you in a bit. All right. I'm ready to put together my Freeman Intercity Commuter. So hopefully it'll go together just as easy as it came apart. I'll catch you at the reveal. All right. Before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. Factory intercity commuter. Obviously, it's definitely in need of a good resto. So uh, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for my reveal on the Beef Eaters Invitational chosen by Paul over Pit My Diecast. The Matchbox Freeman Intercity Commuter. So, like I said originally, this was just supposed to be a restoration because if I only have one matchbox in my collection, I won't do a custom. I'll try to avoid it anyway. Sometimes things do happen. So, this was my only one. And I am not a fan of metallic paint on matchbox cars. Uh, well, for many reasons. They're really hard to match. So this one here was supposed to be a magenta. So I actually mixed clear red and clear blue. Thinking to myself, well, that'll make magenta. And it turned out to be a muddy copper brown. So I don't know what happened. So I went to the hobby store where I get my paints the other day. And I bought and I found some lavender uh, Tamiya spray paint. So that's what I used. So it's still purpley. And I guess at the end of the day, if we can kind of come near the color, then that's what counts. So it's going on my display case for all the world to see. And uh, it shall uh, go as it is. So anyway, thank the beef eaters for doing their monthly bills. I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate my loyal subscribers and viewers and my new ones. And everybody, hopefully I will keep you entertained for years to come. So... On that note, thanks for watching and stay safe. That's all, folks.